So, good morning everyone and what a great morning this is. 17th of November, 10 a.m. I wish we had days like this in the summer, we didn't. It's not wind, temperature is hot, sunny day, just a perfect November day. So, here we got. BMW GS1400 Adventure uh, I present you guys the bike last week So I did a couple of rides last weekend the bike now. It's almost uh, 600 kilometers uh, It's a little bit dirty. Yeah, I yes. I get some rain last week. I was not expecting that like in a new bike, but okay so before we jump in, just two points about the bike that i not too much happy about them. First is the tires. Uh, this is the, the Michelin, the Anarchy Adventure ones. I never used these tires before, I was used to the Road 6. They have a good grip. The, uh, last week I drove in, um, in the twisty roads on the mountains. I get the bank angle like up to 39 degrees if I'm not mistaken and they really had a good grip what I dislike about them the noise on the highway when you go 120 on the highway they are super noisy I'm not sure if this things gets better over time you guys let me know on the comments because I never used these tires before and another thing that makes me like a, a little bit hard is like the side stand if you guys look from here, look to the lean angle that this bike has. It's a lot. It's much more than the previous 1250 Adventure. So, if you park the bike in the side stand, and if the road like leans a little bit to the left, when you jump in, it's a little bit hard to push the bike straight to take out of the center stand. Okay, just two points that so far I dislike a little bit. Maybe I will uh, install in here uh, one of those uh, larger supporters uh, like I had on my previous bike and also on my K16 I have that not not also more surface contact but probably it will make the, the bike higher a little bit so let's go for a ride now This bike has the the automatic uh, weight adjustment, so when I reach like the, I think it's 40 kilometers per hour, the bike will show you over here. It will go to the to the higher level. Just use this one, okay. So exactly right now the bike is 585 kilometers. By the way, this is the Shigi, uh, the one from uh, BMW. I got this device like with a big discount, that's why I bought it. Uh, previous, if you guys see my videos, I had uh, the Capu Ride, the 7 inch model. Then uh, later in another video, I will uh, review this one, the Shigi. Uh, especially compare it with a uh, with a copyright. Let me push this one up. Yeah, the one of the things that I can speak in the first place. The the wind protection. This one. Compared with the previous GS, yeah, this one is better. It, uh, I mean, about high, yeah, it goes a little bit higher than the original uh, windscreen that I had on the GS. Even later, uh, I install, uh, I install a higher one. 
But the main difference is not in the high, the main difference is on the, the protection on the sides about wind. Maybe because of this like flaps over here, yeah, it covers you a lot. Even when you go on the highway, you feel much less wind than the, than the previous years. So, main difference that I see over here. Um, the brakes, let's start with that one. The air power for more, especially the rear. The rear brake, when I when I touch the pedal, I feel more deceleration than the previous one. I think I talked about this. The, um, also, the brake discs, the diameter, uh, they are bigger in the front, but I'm not sure about how many millimeters it's bigger on the back, but it's quite some difference, because you see it immediately, like, uh, like uh, with your eyes. Another thing that I think it works much better than the previous one is the gearbox. The gearbox, even the engine is new, so the gearbox is not uh, is not working like 100% yet. But um, but I feel this box precise more and it's smooth more. And uh, if we speak about the quick shift, oof, it's like a, a day and night difference. This quick shift, quick shifter. It's uh, it's much better. Like it's not so cranky like on the previous years. You don't need to get up the revs to change gear. Uh, it's much smooth. And for everyone who had the the, the 1250 GS, if you try to use the quick shifter like from uh, first to second gear, you almost cannot because it will. It's going to be too much cranky. This one you can use it without any problem from second, from first to second gear. It works just fine. The bike itself, about the weight, um, even the weight and uh, the mass weight, it's the same as the previous years. But I don't know. Maybe the weight distribution or the center of gravity on this bike, I think it's different a little bit because I feel this one like nimble. Uh, let's see how the bike behaves when I get the top case and the side case because right now the BMW they don't have uh, the side cases or the top case for delivery. I think they tell me that they will only get it in, uh, in January, I think. So let's see how the bike behaves with that because uh, my previous one I almost never drive it without the without the without the side or the top case. So let's see the difference when we get. But this bike is so awesome to drive. Really, really, really cool. The equipment itself. Things that like uh, uh, the uh, like the upgrades that they did not, did not have on the previous one the dead angle detector yeah I test this thing like in many scenarios uh, like imagine this going like in a, in a highway like this where you have three lanes you go on the right lane someone passes on the on the full left lane even with the bike lean it detects so I think this thing works just fine. I think the only situation that the manual says that uh, this doesn't work it's when there is a, a difference in speed uh, between your vehicle and between another vehicle more than 80 kilometers per hour difference. Uh, they said on the manual it maybe cannot detect. But uh, that's like a non-common situation because most part of the cases I can assure you, this thing works just fine. Adaptive cruise control. Perfect. Lean, not lean, even when detect another bike ahead of you, it works great. In all the scenarios that, that I try, even at, uh, even at night. I tested when I, when I back last weekend after the ride. Um, Sorry, a little bit. I have to pay attention. When I bike last week, I bike at night, and I use the adaptive cruise control because it was some kind of a traffic, uh, and this thing worked great. Okay, now 
where we're going they close the main road so we have to go like another way because when we go down to we are in Porto right now and when we go down to Gaia we go on the road but they close that road so there is now a detour by another way and it's the first time that I came in here I've been on vacations so it's the first time I came in here after they closed the road so I'm not still not sure I think it's the place where all these guys are going push this down again ah, this thing about the electric windscreen yeah, it's really practice you don't need to have like um, the wheel that you had on the previous one like you have to go in here and rotate and sometimes when you go on the highway uh, if you guys try to go up the screen like 100 kilometers per hour go this hand you have to make strength a lot okay this one like the k1600 and another bikes that have the electric windscreen solves that problem for good the something that I feel different I mean the engine noise I think on the 1250 the the engine sound not about the exhaust the engine itself it was like a smooth sound this one uh, I've you heard a little bit more mechanical noise I'm not sure if it's like that or it's because the engine still in the um, in the braking period so let's see along the time but I read a couple of comments and many people say the same that uh, the the this the the 1400 engine uh, compared with the previous one is a little bit more mechanical <laughs> Another thing that I get a little bit surprised, it was the... Uh, let me go with you guys in here. The fuel consumption, where we get this one? Yeah, it has uh, 5.6 liters. I mean, I make this 5.6 liters, I think it's the first time that I'm riding this bike alone. Because until now I always ride it with my wife. Uh, and I make a... Uh, a couple of kilometers on the highway, like uh, probably 200 kilometers on the highway of the total kilometers that it has so far. Uh, you, you guys know that uh, boxer engines are not very friendly of the highways, they prefer another type of uh, roads. But one thing that I did, the way that I did last week, uh, I leave Porto, I go to a city on the highway called Vila Real, then I go down and after that it's mountain roads, it's a famous national road, it's called the end, choo choo choo. Uh, I went until the end, then I back, Pignon, and uh, after that highway again. So it's a, it's a beautiful scenic road when you go there, so I do that way like quite often. Especially in the autumn and in the spring, it's the most beautiful uh, seasons to go there. In the winter it's dangerous because it's very cold, some parts can get icy. And in the summer it's just too much hot so normally i never go there in that time but what i want to tell you is this normally when i go that way like i top up the tank uh, when i leave home 30 liters exactly the same capacity as the previous gs and uh, when i go with my other gs i could not go and return with the same tank there was a time that i have to top up the gas a little bit this bike I go and back with the same tank and uh, the reserve it didn't flash so I think this one is a little bit more fuel saving than the other one maybe because it has no especially side bikes side bikes make some uh, difference on the on the fuel consumption and I some but sometimes I drive a little bit smooth more because uh, uh, new brakes new tires uh, new bikes still not familiar with it uh, I'm not sure if that thing make a huge difference, but uh, let's see along the time if I can get a uh, how's the fuel consumption. But for now, this one seem a little bit lower. Uh, about the engine itself, I don't have too much feedback 
because like uh, I cannot rev the engine and I cannot full throttle the engine in the highway uh, it's still new so I cannot compare like with the previous years uh, low rev power I don't feel any difference from the 1250 for now let's see over time even on my previous 1250 I have like an SC project exhaust uh, that things makes the uh, engine on lower revs maybe a little bit lose more so let's see along the time how's the how's the engine difference compared with the previous one like low end and uh, and top end This is like I said to you guys before, yeah, it's a really, really wonderful day and uh, many people, many people come in here to enjoy the sunshine, the good weather, because the next month we will not have much more days like this anytime soon. Really, brother. One thing, if I regret to change the bike, the 1250 Adventure, for this one, no. I think it's a good upgrade, especially the new technology, the new design. Because the old design, yeah, it was beautiful. I love the the old design, but uh, you know this now will become a uh, common on the uh, I think on the new uh, BMW bikes so the other one probably will get a little bit outdated a little bit it's a great bike the 1250 yes I love that bike I did almost 40,000 kilometers with it two trips in Europe two free in fact three tips in Europe the bike I drive that bike like a very hot conditions I drive that bike in snowy conditions in uh, heavy rain conditions the trips in Europe the bike fully loaded and it behaves like bulletproof completely I just expect minimum same as this one but I think it will uh, it will do the job exactly the same as the as the other one so if you guys think to upgrade yeah I think it's a good one especially the when you start to see these bikes on the second hand on the market, I think the previous uh, 1250, it will start to go down a lot. So if you guys, if you have a chance to upgrade it, do it now. You will not regret the, the bike. Even with those small defects that I told you guys, like about the center stand, about this thing that I still have to put some uh, film protector over here, otherwise it will scratch it. Uh, it's a uh, removing that of course nothing is perfect but uh, it's going to be a new job grade so, after the bike making the brake pin break-in period I will make a new review for you guys I hope everyone have a wonderful day and see you next time see you on the next video bye bye